I want to speak about uh, multiple visits from techs uh, doing repairs on properties. Uh, you know, but real quickly, what kind of uh, caused this is we have an owner that's unreasonably upset over repair. And you know, that's pretty common for a property management company. So we always have certain owners and so it's the same owners that get really upset uh, every time their property uh, needs some kind of repair. They always wanna blame uh, it on the tenant, they wanna blame it on us, they wanna blame it on the tech. Uh, they just get very upset. So I think sometimes they lack a little bit of emotional maturity. I mean, we all get bad news. Nobody wants to get a repair request when you own a rental property. Um, you know, I own rental properties, my wife and I. Certainly doesn't excite me when one comes across my property management company. My property management company, of course, manages my wife's and my properties, you know, concurrently with all other properties that we manage. Um, so I'm not excited to see a repair request come, come my way. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I love owning a property management company, because I actually tune out of my wife's and my uh, properties to a degree. You know, I just let my company grow property management, manage our properties right alongside everyone else's properties. And that gives me the luxury of just kind of like not fixating on, well, I need to buy a new dryer. And actually right now we do actually have, I believe, a dryer repair uh, in the books for one of the properties. I think it's a dryer, maybe it's a washer. Again, I just like to tune out because I don't want to stress and think, how much is it going to cost to buy a new washer or a new dryer? And I just let my company manage it. But back to, you know, owners, X number of owners will just get unreasonably upset, uh, you know, and they, they just want to blame every, everybody. And I think what comes to my valuable uh, point to this message uh, for every landlord to know is, again, I own a property management company here in Philadelphia, and we manage quite a large number of properties. And what that gives us is statistics. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm actually going for a bit of hike. That gives us statistics, valuable statistics. So we uh, kind of have a, a lot more information about how repair goes uh, than maybe most owners do. We've become experts at it. And what I want to speak to is, you know, uh, sometimes an owner expects that a, an appliance repair company will go and should know exactly what's wrong, should fix it, and that should be it. Uh, but much like a car mechanic or a lot of different services, you know, sometimes even roofing, you know, you go and you troubleshoot and you say, this is what's likely wrong, and you fix it. And then if you can, you test it. In the case of a roof, that would be very difficult to test. But, you know, with roof problems, they often come down to be, like, honestly, a $3 repair, but try to find that $3 repair. I mean, sometimes it's obvious you go up and the roof is, uh, you know, the car is cracked. You can kind of see, you know, uh, exactly, you know, what's going on. Sometimes it just might be some flashing and the rain comes down on the south east, you know, uh, manor and it just hits at that certain spot and that's your problem, you know, but we can't figure it out until you know, because the next time it rains, it's coming down northwest, and the leak doesn't happen, so we think we fix it, you know, three months, four months later, to find out we did it. So that's kind of the way it works, and I don't know if every landlord understands that, uh, and I understand why, because they don't do the volume we do. But, you know, we basically, as a property management company, you know, we know that most of the technicians and, uh, you know, vendors that we use, such as appliance repair guys, HVAC guys, uh, roofers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are well vetted. We know them well. We work with them every day. You know, I will often show up to jobs to actually make decisions that they want me to make on um, how to proceed. Uh, so I know these guys, and they tend to be very, again, very well vetted. And we kind of get an idea. In the case of like an appliance repair guy, we've probably used maybe five different appliance repair companies in the city of Philadelphia. And how it worked with all the other companies is they will come in and say, oh, this appliance is beyond repair. But if you buy a new appliance from us, we'll apply the cost of the repair uh, to that to that unit. And then uh, most every <laughs> appliance we would send them, they would actually respond that it's beyond repair. And that would not be the case. I mean, you just take a refrigerator. When a tenant moves in and they newly fill it full 
of all kinds of food, the fan can freeze. So when a tenant moves out and it's now empty uh, and it's, you know, the fan's up high, the cooling is up high, the fan can freeze. You know, when the fan freezes, the fridge dies. The solution to that would be to, un, you know, freeze that fan, unplug it. Uh, you know, and this we kind of know to be a fact. And a lot of times when a appliance repair guy can come on and say, this is beyond repair, unplug it, take it back to their shop, give, sell you a new one. By the time they get back to their shop, you know, that fan is already thawed and now it's a working fridge. Um, you know, do I know this for a fact? Uh, kind of, <laughs> but officially no. Uh, but, you know, our last company that we used, uh, probably, you know, Probably, gosh, I want to say like as much as 17 out of every 20 repairs we sent them was beyond fixing, buy a new unit from us. Whereas in our current tech we've been using for years, the first 21, because we actually tracked these metrics, the first 21 repairs we sent him to, only two was beyond repair. One of which actually happened to be in my personal home. Uh, so, you know, we tracked very carefully so we get a good idea if a tech is good or not so these vendors tend to be fairly trusted we kind of understand the process and again my whole point to this is you know sometimes a repair will take multiple visits you know as a landlord you're going to be at a disadvantage because you might be getting taken advantage of by an appliance repair company and in the case of Philadelphia that's probably likely because we had gone through five companies to get to the current tech that we have uh, all of which we stopped using for a reason. Same thing with plumbers, same thing with roofers, et cetera, et cetera. HVAC tax, you name it. Uh, but a good repair person will still sometimes need uh, multi-visits, the same way a car mechanic will need multiple visits. They'll repair what they think is wrong. If they can, they will test the unit in the case of an HVAC or a, an appliance repair individual, they can often test it. Uh, if it's working, they will assume it's been resolved. They will leave. If it stops working for the tenant, then it's to be expected that they're going to have to come back. And sometimes that's just the way it is. And I just wanted to kind of put that information out there because I don't know if every rental property owner knows that. They don't have the value of the volume of properties and the volume of repairs we have. Uh, to, you know, to, to always understand uh, that. All right, well, I'm the Philadelphia Property Management Company owner, doing my best to answer your rental property investing questions. As always, happy investing. I'm gonna finish my walk.